Hello and welcome. It's Jilly Cube and I'm here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. I am originally from Birmingham in the United Kingdom. Uh, I think we worked out about 38 years ago. So a long time living in Australia. But I know a few people have commented recently that that's not completely an Australian accent and it certainly isn't but after 37 38 years I don't think I'm gonna lose my accent okie doke I have this canvas it's a second attempt at doing some colors that my son has asked me to do I'm not enjoying the colors but he's asked me to do them so I'm really trying to make the best I've done one canvas and I didn't like the base colour that I put around so I'm going to try again and do it a little bit differently until I can get something I like with the colours that he likes but yeah very difficult when you're doing something for somebody else and they've got something in mind and you've got something different okay I'm not going to use that one I've decided I'm going to just use this as a template sort of just as my a guide because I want the composition to be down here so this is just a gold acrylic pen it's just one that I've just picked up there but it, it won't matter if it sh it won't shine through because it's acrylic it'll just kind of melt in so that's my template that I, it's just a guide for silly jilly to keep me on track where I want the actual main design so if you get my drift rightio now for the base coat i'm going to use this sand color which i've got pre-mixed in this the previous one i tried i went and used silver as my base color and it just did well i just don't think it was very nice so i'm going to try the sand that might be a way too thick so i might need to add i'll see how we go uh, not too bad not too bad it'll spread out nicely so I'm not gonna worry too much about the edges on the initial spread out but I'll speed this bit up for you guys hopefully so you don't have to go through my spreading even though I have so many um, replies say no leave your spreading out that's what relaxes me when I'm watching your videos so so there you go it must be that ASMR effect I'm going to use my fingers to take it over the sides easiest way that's just nice and easy it looks as though it's all lumpy and that, but they usually dry flat for the paint self levels if you've got the right um, consistency. So don't worry too much about it. That's the easiest way of going over your sides and it's with your fingers. You know, unless you, you've got loads of paint that you're going to tilt so that's another way is tilting over the sides and then you obviously use a lot of paint up doing that okay that looks like a rough old sandy sandy bit of stuff doesn't it okay did she bring the cloth yes i did goodness okay rightio so i might just go back over that with my spatula too since there's just that offset spatula Flatten it out. There we go. Lovely. That colour is so much better than the one I tried previously. I put silver on the base and it I don't think it did anything for the colours that he has chosen, these colours previous video that I've put out about this these were the colors that Stephen chose sort of they were tigery colors but kind of more reminded me of autumn 
So I'm going to put some gold in this one. I didn't put it in the last one. This is a metallic gold. I'm just going to put some in here. I don't want to use too much of that. I'm going to put some of the, oh, what's it called? Wicker, wicker in here. Maybe I can tip this in. Just wiggle it around. Keep my kind of um, shape that I want to keep it in. I'm just really hoping this time it works out. I'm, this is the second time I've tried to attempt to do what he's asked me to do. And that's one reason I hate doing, um, what you call it, commissions for people. In fact, I don't, you know, I'll only do it for family and friends now, because I just, it's not worth my time and effort for somebody then to say, oh no, well if you could just add a bit more brown there, or a bit more yellow there, no, you, can have what I've already got or not. <laughs> uh, so this one is, I'll just look at the thing, the container to get it right. So just wiggle it about. That kind of gold has gone a bit green in there. That one is blazing cloud. So now to sort of put the the contrast in there which is burnt umber and I've mixed it with a good dash of a good dash of black because I wanted it darker I've put some of this iridescent medium so I can get a shimmer in it you squirt a bit of this iridescent medium basically in any of your paints and it gives them that shimmery shimmery effect especially when it's dry so these are not colours that I would have chose myself, so it's a man choosing them. So, there you go. I think that will be plenty. I know every time I do this, I always put too much paint in, and then it takes me ages to, um, if because I'm going to balloon kiss this, because this is what he's asked for. Um, it takes ages for the blue uh, the paint to absorb into the canvas to get a good balloon kiss effect so I just want to put some white in there I don't think I put that in up the last one I did I'll just put my lid back on oh maybe I might need some of that sand might need a little bit of it and just around the edges <laughs> this is a particular style that he's asked for with the kiss and blow he has asked for this in these colors so for once i'm doing as i'm told so 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 where do we go are we okay now it's the um i just give it the the blowout with the straw, I was going to use my mini blower, but I think I just used the straw. I'm putting a bit of the Amsterdam white and Floetrol. So I'm not putting no Floetrol down there, so I haven't got the same lacing look. The Floetrol definitely added to the paint adds the lacing.
okay. It's just, yeah, it's just something that I'm not loving about these colours. But that's it when you're doing it for somebody else. It's very difficult when you don't actually love, you know, what's coming, jumping up at you. You think, oh, yes. He might think it's up. Hopefully, these are the colours he asked for. Showed him the colours. He said, yes. They were kind of like tiger colours, but not with the black stripes. That's why I've used the dark umber in there. But he didn't want a tiger, he just wanted the colours. So the next stage in the game is... I did the wisps before, but I didn't like the wisps, so I'm not sure whether to go wisps again or what. Let's try. He wanted the wisps. So, doing what I'm told. For once, my husband would say. the balloon but I know there's too much paint on there again I might have to leave it for half an hour which you is always the best way when you're doing wow. oh look at that that's nice hey I definitely like these colors than the the last one I did like uh, the having the sand in the background instead of silver it's working better but still not, 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 I need to walk away, look, because when the paint all falls in towards you, the, there's just too much paint there. So you need to walk away, let it absorb into the canvas a little bit and um, come back. That's quite nice. Okay, I'm going to leave it, walk away, let it absorb into the canvas and see what we get. I am not loving that whatsoever. But when it's not for yourself, what do you do? <laughs> oh hey, hey. It's been about 20 minutes now. Just let this silly dog out. Go, go. Been about 20 minutes. Um, it is definitely the balloon kissing uh, is responding a little bit better. But probably the longer I leave it would be better. So I'm just going over with this very small balloon that's just got a bit of just put a bit of water in to add the weight I don't put the water in the big balloon because that can be disastrous if it's to pop um, ruins your whole work so I'm just gently going over with this little little balloon um, I like the brown in there so I'm gonna just repress that over the goldy bits I like I'm going to leave that sort of um, more solid effect there because I quite like that these were the colors he asked for so it's a second go and I just I'm, I'm gonna leave it if it doesn't like this um, well it's me that doesn't like it actually it's me that's not keen on the colours so let me know what you think it's um yeah I don't know what it is about the colours that just don't do anything for I suppose somebody that's got the right decor to go with them it's perfect but it's just not as yeah you know, I just don't like it I just don't like it let me know what you guys think I'll give it a go and um yeah, I'll send a photo to Steve and see if he wants to keep it or scrap it. So uh, we'll go from there. So I will be back again tomorrow um, with you guys. I hope that, you know, you've enjoyed anyway my little efforts today, even though I didn't particularly enjoy my colours. That's just what it's all about, isn't it, when you're doing it for somebody else. Okay, until tomorrow, uh, bye for now and please take care.